One of the really neat things about Articulate Storyline is that you can customize the text on just about any of the buttons or messages or other features that you're using on your course player. Like in this course, I've opted to include this sidebar over here at the left, and I've included three tabs on it called Menu, Glossary, and Notes. I can change the titles on any of these tabs really easily. I've also got a button up here in the upper right called Resources, and I could change that too. And your course might also have some pop-ups or messages that users see in certain situations, like you know, in this particular course, if I leave and come back or if I refresh my view then my learners are gonna see this message here that allows them to pick up where they left off. Well, the text for all of these things is really easy to customize. You can customize it for either a different language or if you just don't like the default wording on an item or two. Maybe you want you know, some of the player features or messages to have you know, some slightly different wording. It's really easy to change that. Here's how you can do it. In Storyline, what you wanna do is come up to the Home tab and then click this player button. And then when the player properties manager pops up, you can click text labels. And on this window, you're gonna see a list of all the different text labels in Storyline that you can edit. Now, if you wanna switch everything to a different language all at once, Storyline does have quite a few languages that are preloaded that you can switch to. So you could check out this language selector right here and see if the language that you wanna use is in here. Like if I wanted to switch to Portuguese, I would just select that and then everything in my custom text column is gonna to change to be in Portuguese. And I could go through and make some additional customizations if I wanted to. Another thing that you can do is if you maybe only wanna tweak a few items and you have you know, something very specific in mind that you wanna change, you can also just scroll through this list here and find the item that you wanna edit. And then in this second column called custom text, you can enter whatever you want that text label to say. So let's just say in this course, you know how we've got this menu item over here, this first tab in my sidebar. Um, this is one of the built-in tabs, you know, that Storyline provides for you if you want to use it. And I've opted to do, do that in this course. But let's just say um, I want to call that tab something different. Maybe instead of menu, I want it to be called outline. Well, I would just scroll through this list here and find that item. And it happens to be right here, number 27. I can click in the custom text column and then enter whatever change I want to make. And then once I do that, if I click away or I hit tab, this preview over here is going to redraw and you can see that now my tab is not called menu anymore, it's called outline. So this preview makes it really easy to see exactly what you've changed. Now let's say I've customized quite a few text labels and now I want to reuse that same set of text labels in some other courses. And that's really easy to do too. What you can do is click on this save button right here to the right of the language selector and then once you click that, you can enter a new name and that's going to save that set of text labels so that you can apply it elsewhere. So if I click save now, um, you can see that it changed the name in my language selector and anytime I wanna use that same set of labels, I can come here and choose it from the list of languages. You can see I've also previously changed um, a set of text labels and saved it and called it informal. So really easy to do that. Another thing that you should know is that if you make some changes to your text labels, the changes are gonna be saved in your uh, course project when you click on this OK button down here in the lower right. But a lot of times developers like to save their changes to a player too, because often if you, you know, maybe customize other aspects of your player, like you know, the colors or maybe some other features that are part of your player, you might also wanna save the customized text labels as part of that same player too. So if that's the case for you, you can click on this current player button. And if you're already using a custom player like I am, you can see that the name right here above my preview is called Effective Meetings Streamlined. Then what you can do is click on the current player button and then just click the save button. And that's gonna save those text labels within that custom player. If you're, if you're using the uh, Storyline default player, it's just gonna say Storyline Player right up here instead of this custom name. And in that case, what you can do is click Current Player and then choose Save As and then give your player whatever name you want and then click OK. And then anytime you apply that same player to any other course by coming up here to Current Player and choosing Open and then just select you know, the player by the name that you gave it, that's going to apply the custom player along with any custom text labels that you saved with it. So text labels are really worth exploring. It's a great way to customize your course and tailor things to your learners.